Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today I will be bringing you guys my very first park overview. And for the first video I chose for Bellewater Park located in Ypres, Belgium. So this is the very first park I ever went to and here I went on my very first thrill ride which was a Vekoma Boomerang. The park is more of a family theme park and is the oldest one in Belgium. It was established in 1954 on the grounds of the World War I Battle of Bellewarde and is named after a castle that stands near the main entrance. Oh, and before I forget, big thanks to Roller Coaster and Amusement Park for letting me use this video. I didn't really ask them, but hey, they won't mind, right? I love you guys and the link will be down below in the description. Originally opened in 1954, Bellewarde used to be a garden named Tourist Center Bellewarde. In 1969 they added a safari park and the park was renamed to Safari Bellewarde. A lion area was added in 1972 and the park was renamed to Bellewarde Park. The lions are to this day the park's mascots. Tigers were added in 1974 and more exotic animals over the following years. In 1978, the first large amusement ride was added. Bellewarde joined Wallaby Group in 1992, but in 1998, so seven years later, Premier Parks purchased Bellewarde. At the time, Premier Parks also owned Six Flags Corporation. So in the year 2000, two years later, Premier Parks name was dropped in favor of the more popular Six Flags brand name. Six Flags operated the park until early 2004, so four years, when Six Flags sold their European parks to Palamon Capital Partners, who now operate the park under the Star Parks Europe name. But then two years later, in the spring of 2006, Star Parks sold Bellewater Park to Compagnie de Talp, who is also the owner of Park Asterix, Wallaby Belgium and Wallaby Holland. Okay, let's go over the rides and the different animals that they have because there's a lot of animals. I'm not going to discuss the rides individually, but I will go over them quickly. So the major rides includes a Vikama boomerang called Boomerang. Fun fact, this was actually the second Vikama boomerang to be built, but ended up being the first one to open to the public. Another fun fact is that there are 55 Vikama boomerangs in the world. I've run two of them. The other one is located in Wallaby, Belgium. And I do prefer this one over the one in Wallaby though. Reason for that is that because I get stabled every single goddamn time in Wallaby. Please stop doing that. They also have a dueling alpine coaster called Dawson Duel. Several water rides including a Harakiri raft slide, a log flume, a river river ride and a shoot the shoot ride called Camp Niagara and with a 20 meter drop, Camp Niagara was the highest splash in Europe. The ride also has a bridge over the drop in which visitors can get soaked. They also have a Gerslauer family coaster called Wakala, a zero indoor coaster called Huracan, and by the way, this coaster was built inside the building that formerly housed the Lost Piratas dark ride. And finally, an original zero beetle coaster. They also have a great collection of flat rides, such as the world's first topple tower called El Valador, a drop tower called Screaming Eagle, a pirate ship and a fun fact for you guys, from April 29th until May 1st 2014, a dude named Sam set a world record for the longest ride on an amusement park ride and he sat on the ride for 50 hours straight. Crazy right? Then there is a train ride which is quite boring, a towboat ride which is awesome, a 4D film and some other small attraction for the little ones. And there was one more attraction. Oh yeah, they also have a Vekoma madhouse called Houdini's Magical House and an indoor playground for the kids. And like I said before, they have a ton of animals. And let me go through them quickly. You guys ready? Okay, let's do this. So they have a hooded bull turim, a black kid, a harris hawk, a squirrel monkey, a Cammon Marmoset, a Patagonian Mara, a Lion, a Tiger, an Amur Leopard, a Rothschild Giraffe, a Zebra, a Ankule Watsusi, a White-Headed Lemur and a Red-Headed Lemur, a Pelican, a Capybaras, a Nasu, an Aras, a Flamingo, a Grassil Chapuchin Monkey, an Emperor Tamarin, a European tar Tamarin, a Wallaby, an Alpaca, a Goat and a Raccoon. Yeah, so I probably pronounced many of these names incorrectly and I'm sorry for that, but these names are actually quite difficult to pronounce. 
So I think I got all of them and yes, they do have multiple ones of each kind. I was just too lazy to count them all. And actually you can get very close to these animals, which is really cool. So now that we have that out of the way, let's talk about the teaming and the overall ambience for a bit in this park. Bellewater in my books is the prettiest park in Belgium. And you just cannot say that this park is ugly. This theme park used to be a garden and because of that there are so many beautiful flowers and trees and bushes and fountains. Thousands of trees and bushes provide the green lungs of the park and a little over 100 varieties of flowers add color to the walking path. The showpiece of the gardens of Bellewater Park? Without a doubt, the flower castle. This beautiful fairy tale castle was built for the 40th anniversary of Bellewater Park in 1994. Each year the castle is redecorated with more than 200,000 colorful summer flowers. It is therefore quite logical that this castle is a beloved photo spot of many families who want to capture their day at Bellewater Park on film. Did you know that Bellewater Park has its own water treatment plant? Every day 120 liters of water are purified here in a nature friendly way. Well, now you know. Anyway, the park is divided in three different areas. You have Mexico with the boomerang and the hurricane. You have Africa with a lot of kiddie attractions and a lot of animals. And then you have Canada with Wakala and the Dossing Duel. The park itself is not really that big and the annoying thing is, is that the park has a horizontal layout and not a circle layout like most parks. So if you want to go from one side of the park to the other one, you have to walk through the entire park, which takes like 5 minutes. Told you, it's not that big. I think I covered most of the things that you can do in the park and I'm sorry if I forgot something. But for more details you should just visit the park, it's a really really fun park and you can do everything in one day for sure. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, there's also a water park.